Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be giving a 6 minute explanation on how to avoid getting cancelled online. <laughs> this may be an issue you will run into one day. This is not proper advice, do not take anything from this video too seriously. Before we move on, we need to know, what does it mean to get cancelled? Let me give a quick definition of what cancelling is. According to dictionary.com, yeah actually I'm not going to read all this, uh, take your time to pause the video and read it. Are you ready? Great, now let's move on to what to do and what not. Now for this, we need an imaginary situation. So, imagine you are a small YouTuber with, let's say, 20,000 subscribers. You have an active presence on a small niche online community. Your channel stats are doing great and you're one of the community's most respected members. However, in this niche community, there is a smaller YouTuber with, let's say, 2,000 subscribers. Let's call him Bob. Now, Bob is one of the few people who does not like you. And he also has a history of getting dramas with other community members. One morning you wake up and see Bob accusing you of something so egregious on his Twitter page. So egregious, I cannot even repeat it. Unlike his usual tweets, this one's actually getting small attention from the algorithm. To add insult to injury, Bob included a whole thread in the comments of your wrongdoings. Now, the first thing you do is stop, drop, and roll. Drop your goddamn phone. Do your morning routine. Get what needs to be done. Don't immediately respond. Now, when you come back, remind yourself. You have an advantage. You are a community favorite. You are much more trustworthy than Bob. However, things could easily change if you decide to directly engage with allegations. Engaging in a debate about yourself with someone who does not like you will give them a hand to spread their message and accusations, especially if they're less influential than you are. However, sometimes ignoring the allegations isn't enough and you need to do something about it, especially if it's starting to gain serious traction. Now, as I said earlier, you are well respected. You should use this to your advantage. Now is a great time to distract people from this matter. Team up with other creators and announce the launch of that project that you've always wanted to do. Now, hopefully this is enough to quell the movement against you. Of course, this is not what always happens and sometimes another really influential member of the community will turn on you. Now, important to remember, always keep good relations with important figures during this time. During a time of crisis, your fate will lay in the hands solely of others. As why I suggest starting a project together as that will bring all you guys closer together. Now, the YouTuber who switched size on you, let's call her Anna. Her channel is very similar to yours. Same size, very similar content. She has been around for much longer, but has stagnated growth. She thinks that you are in the wrong and believes most of the accusations against you. Now, when a real respected influencer brings this message, you're gonna have to carefully play out your pieces like a game of chess. If you engage in the allegations, you will have help prolong this and turn it into a drama. That could either go bad or just alright, it's never going to go good for you. But by this point, completely ignoring the allegations is going to possess greater risks. And assuming the allegations have been noticed by larger creators in different communities, you need to take action. Now I'm sure by this point people are starting to reach out for you for your comment on this. Only accept offers from people who side with you or are leaning more towards your side. Playing a safe game is the good game, however refuse to talk on live. That is an absolute, you should never do that. Going on a live stream or live podcast is a possible death sentence because this gives the haters the ability to voice their opinions and the host may read that and he might switch his opinion and that will screw you over. Other people's opinions are possibly dangerous and a way to bring you down. Reflect on what your goal is when you're talking to the larger creator. And when you talk to the larger creator, you want to review what you come off as. You want to come off as a good person. You want to come off of sincerity, light-hearted, like humorous, generous, and kind. You do not want to act like how you usually do in your videos. That will indicate that you are not being that serious. Now, when the topic of drama comes up, don't brush it away. That looks pretty sus. Instead, pick at the weak links of it and use a straw man argument. Reflect on any dramas you've been in before with Bob, and if not, bring up how you have nothing against him. And if you really want to go over the top, maybe point out some flaws of his channel or his personality. This will upset Bob, and Bob will start insulting you back. This will give you a moral high ground, and then kill him with kindness to bring at home. Now, by this point, the drama has probably been going on for over a week, so most people outside the niche community are very likely not interested anymore. Now, hopefully you left a great impression on larger creators, because that will really affect your reputation. Now, the drama is going to inevitably die down, but Bob, what happens to Bob? If Bob keeps accusing you of things, just ignore, maybe poke fun of his comments if he continuously bothers you, and remember, if all else goes wrong and this all collapses, you still have a real world to live in. 
and this is how to avoid being cancelled. Thanks for watching, comment what I should do next, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and if this gets 10 likes, I'll do a part 2 on how to get cancelled, so you can try this out for yourself. One last thing before I go, Cursed Enemy Review Part 2 is coming out soon. Stay tuned.